bolts to go down. Your boy got a delivery. It got really squirrely. I had to like drive the forklift onto the delivery truck because they don't call and tell me when they're coming. And that happens way too often, like way too often. But it's here. Check it out. That, my friends, is a clamping rack. Ah! We're gonna put this thing together. So, we don't really have anywhere to put this that's like convenient. I think the only place it can go is there. The bunk desk has to be retired. We had a good run. It literally hasn't been used since it got here. It's just basically scaffolding. Say goodbye. Bye, bunk desk. You smell. I don't know, I hope you farted. So what this is, is a clamping rack. Specifically, we got this one, it's 12 foot wide. And what it has, it gives you the opportunity to do parallel clamping on steroids. So once we get these out, you'll, you'll give you a sense of how it works. But we've been doing so many big glue ups. I mean, last year we did a shuffleboard table. We got another request for one of those. We just did a 14 foot long conference table. I've got a 12 foot desk. When you start getting really, really long parallel clamp ups, glue ups, we run into like some twisting issues and none of our tables are long enough to hold them. So then we're like fabric cobbling a bunch of crap together to get them supported. So I wanted to solve that problem. And I, this is something I've wanted since we got the bigger space. And it finally just made sense. So we're gonna put it together. And then we actually have some stuff that we're gonna test on it. Yes. Another reason that we got into this is that we have so much scrap wood now, I wanna get back to like making cutting boards and smaller stuff that we could put on the website and sell to you guys and make available instead of just massive conference tables and crazy shit all the time. The usage of our regular clamps takes up a ton of space. This won't do that. So we can always have stuff gluing up and then get to it when we can without taking up space. But the company's JBL, JLT clamps, they make some really cool stuff. Not sponsored, pay full price. Let's go. <laughs> I love brand new things that are up. We accepted the shipment because I hate not accepting shipments. Now it's gonna be in our workshop and get destroyed. So <clears throat> these are all 48 inch and then I got the 52 inch clamps too because we've done a couple glue ups over 48 because we're idiots. He basically, I would say like hates when you're on the forks. Is it because you're not certain? Osha bear. Uh, forks this way, stop and go back that way. Down. Up. Shweet! Or as we used to say, Shwizzy! You guys might be too young for Shwizzy. Sure is. Hey! Us. What side's the front in the diagram? Tube's back. Because if we would go the other way, it would it'd be angled back. Curl. Up. Shimmy. Up. You're good. Okay, I think if you pick it up, I think, this is the I think you're wrong. You think this is the front. Mount them like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just, you'll just put it on the ground and it'll tilt up. <laughs> we need a wrench though. That's 5 16 uh -huh. Dyslexia. Slight difference. I'm going to bring both. Go up with it. Stop. I will say of all the things we've bought or put together, I think this is up there at simplest. <laughs> Tend to agree. I love buying things like this so you can kind of see how they were built. Cause this is all just tube steel. Like if we wanted to now, I could make this. Just because we have the dimensions, we have the parts. This is eighth inch by three by three tube steel. This is two by three tube steel, all eighth inch, just plates and stuff. It's just always so cool. You think this stuff's so like complex and sometimes it's just so simple. Now the clamps themselves, I think those are pretty complex. If you lower it down, we can let it come back and then just tilt it up slightly and put the middle one in. Don't spear me in the chest with a forklift. And if you do, tell my wife I was doing something noble. Is that good? You to just keep backing up. You gotta go down a little bit. Ooh, baby, that's heavy. Oh, she don't wanna swing. It ain't working. Okay. Um. Overhead, oh, it's too, go down. <laughs> Hold on, Jordan, stop. Bear, it's going to hit you in the face. Okay, now slowly down. It's all on you. Don't break it, please. Cute, now pick it up, come forward. 
you need to come forward enough so you can get the forklift out. Okay, down. Super cool! JBC, get over here. Junior bacon cheeseburger. You just ate one, didn't you? No! Oh. Stop, I got steel toes on. That's me being a raptor. Well, I think if we could swing just that way, you could pick it up with the fork. A little bit of poop came out there. Pull that in. I'm gonna just drive block it in the corner. Drive block. You ready? She's beautiful. In. Just drop it. Go, go, hold on. Shift it to the right. Huh. Oh boy. <laughs> the perfect spot for it, huh? It's a new technique to shake all of the glue out of the squeeze. Yeah, it's just got a crown because we have two drain, a drain on each side. Cool. We could probably bolt it through those. This is the fun part. These are the clamps. I had to clamp you. As you can see, they're just like freaking steroided parallel clamps. These work on these pins here, so you don't have to run a ton of distance for clamping. It adjusts super easy. I think the only thing we gotta do is put these on, which, if I had to guess, slide on something like this. Jordan, we're men, we do not read directions. These long, bolty boys. See what size these are? It might. 7 16 Jordan, grab a 7 16 wrench, please. Think. I got the first one done. Because I'm an antsy child, we're going to put it in the thingy. Oh, hell yes. God, that's awesome. Then you can bring it down, clip a rooski, and there we go. That's awesome. So you can line these up like tables, and you're good to go. Put the other like 900 freaking clamps we got together and glue something up. So in the good nature of just being guys, we obviously have to race. I felt like we were keeping pace. To the death. <laughs> nope, we're just gonna race because why not? We just put together what? Two, four, six, eight, 10, probably 24 of these. 22. We got some reps. So we got some reps, we got some dirt. We're gonna race. Rules are, there are no rules. If Sam shanks me, I can't make an excuse. If a gun goes off, there's no excuses. This, <laughs> this is a man's race, all right? Tyler, count us down. Three, two, one. I didn't know we were doing it to that. You were close though. You did have me beat off the table. Nicely done. That's pretty good. These are pretty sweet though. <laughs> the engineering, the engineering's pretty awesome. We're gonna wipe them down because we do have a couple things to clamp together and it'll be awesome to actually get to use these. All right, so while I'm all giddy and I wanna start gluing stuff up, Jordan's actually doing things to try and make some money. We've actually got this pretty cool Shishigi Bond river table that we're gonna be including, you know, retired service pistol, and some other stuff inside of it. So we're gonna pour this real quick, the first base layer, and then we're gonna go try out the clamp rack. We're embedding a bunch of memorabilia into a table, so we have to pour the first layer first. So we're doing a one inch thick blue river, and then we're gonna embed challenge coins, some spent cartridges and stuff, retired service practice unit, and then do a clear coat over the entire thing. But we're not doing a video on this. Jordan just needed a hand because math is hard. We, have evolved. We're now using this uh, paste per our recommendations of another YouTuber, BM Sculptures, instead of Tyvek tape. So if Jordan did it right, this should pop right out. We're actually on this thing popping out this internal frame here after this interior dries because then the whole thing gets encased in resin. It should be pretty sweet. All right, so we've got the rack set up and ready to rock. The intent now 
is to be able to, and I know they make rollers and stuff for this. If it ends up being worth it, I will invest in. But for now, we're just gonna go with the way we typically do it. So I'm gonna get some glue on these suckers and get them in there. So this is super small glue up, but you can see easily, I've got the, did I not pin it? So these, these slide and then land in pin holes. Then you come in and you spinny spin, and it's just like I said before, I think, a uh, parallel clamp on steroids. Now, they also make, I think, like a clamp that goes over top to hold them down, but more or less, there you go. Boom, baby. So, they make tools that I can just run this over, and we may invest in one, because that would actually be quite fast. But this is how a lot of the like bigger companies will do it. They roll it through and they just place them right in. They wouldn't even have a table. They would take the piece of wood right onto the clamp and then they stack them up. It goes really, really fast. I didn't even think about getting the glue applicator, to be honest. It looks sweet. It's like if you go to a diner and they have like the roller for butter. It's when Jordan's gonna chime in and say he works somewhere that they had one of those and he really wants one, but I'm gonna cut him off so he can't speak on camera because he's annoying me today. So we're gonna get one for glue and I, that thing will be sick. I'm going home. Because <laughs> if you couldn't carry it like this, which I, oh boy, if you couldn't carry it like this, you could easily see how you could just put, you know, one, two, three, four and stack them up as you go. We needed this last Christmas. That's why we didn't do them this year, because I was gonna get this for Christmas, and then uh, we needed a 700 other things. <laughs> if you want to guess the list of the 700 other things we got down below, first feel free. First, feel free. First one to get it all right. First one to get it all right, I'll give you a job. I think this is actually like the smallest we can go on these. Do we have any one inch pipe? You can really get after these. These have a slight bow to them, so most of the pressure is in the center here. So if you've ever used one, do you want to have like the ends of your glue up here? Because you like we don't want to have to cut off a ton of these. We also like want to make sure we're getting good clamping pressure across. I don't know. We all learn. So we just prepped some boards. We got a real easy tabletop to glue up. So we're actually gonna put that in there too, because we can, can, can. I just got real pumped. We're gonna mock it up first. So little mock-up. I think that's good. I like the way it looks. But usually when you do that, you want to start on one side. Stack them on top. Them all up. Hand off. Team sports. Oh. Squiggles never swirls. Do you wish we had this when you did the cutting boards? Half the battle is like moving the clamps around. Well, just prepare yourself, because this year, 200. <laughs> Should have marked it with a pencil. We'll just start at one side. Work our way down. Grab some squeeze clamps would help though. F style. First tabletop in the new clamp rack. We'll see if this was all for naught. Cause this is actually the stuff that we give a shit about. I love that I can just put a ton of pressure down on it. Safe compartment. Keep an eye on you, John. Damn it. Every time he comes around, I get nervous. He doesn't even give me kisses. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, pick this one up. Pick these two up at the same time. Pick this one up again. Look, there's just a big ass crown on Did Dakota Love have one of these? No, they had like custom ones, remember? Ah, uh, the pneumatic thing? I think it was just a table that they were like they built. They had something similar. When you want to do that, always grab the F-style clamp. There was like two and they didn't have any of the pads on them. So we've got <clears throat> 10 cutting boards and a 10-foot tabletop glued up. I would say that that is a big success. And this thing, she don't get that work in the future. If you guys want to see us do more ridiculous stuff and use this tool, like on the most outrageous projects you can think of, you better be subscribed. And then I want you to go watch this playlist right here. I'm telling you, it's amazing.